What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Dasher DFS bringing you a brand new video. Today's video is week 15's Millie Maker first look. So uh, we got a Saturday contest, three games there, uh, Thursday night, Monday night, Sunday night. So uh, a lot of different contests. So kind of balances it out 10 games on the uh, main slate. So two quarterbacks above 8K this week and honestly a really good game on paper uh josh allen 8200 against 8000 dak prescott i can't remember the last time we've seen dak at 8k i don't i don't think we ever have uh at least for the last few few years we haven't seen dak this much but i mean when you look at the the numbers he's put up yeah it's uh it's pretty impressive dallas is just scoring and scoring Granted, some of the teams they, they, they faced haven't been good, but regardless, uh, that's a good matchup. Expect a decent amount of ownership there. Uh, Miami against the Jets. That one's probably going to be bad for Miami. Mahomes, 7800 against New England. His price dropped down. 7800 It's been up, up and down, it looks like, on, uh, on some of these. Yeah. Price price definitely drops down at seventy eight hundred. I against New England, I don't mind that one as much. Uh, watching injury news for CJ Stroud, uh, concussion usually is out, but we'll see what that looks like at the end of the week. Davis Mills will be the quarterback, I imagine, if Stroud is a no go. Fields seven thousand against Cleveland. That's a rough one. Brock Purdy against Arizona. Uh, that one kind of stands out. His price just continues to go up, but he's putting up really good uh, fantasy numbers. Uh, Kyler, 6,400 against Arizona. I feel like I feel like it's been a while since we saw Kyler play, honestly. Uh, but yeah, 6,400, so his price kind of drops down from uh, where we've seen it. Tough division matchup. Sam Howell, 6,300 against Rams. That one's not bad. Jordan Love, though, 62 against Tampa. That one kind of stands out to me. Uh, is the best one right now. Uh, bad week against the Giants on, on Monday night, but before then, been having some really good games. Uh, this is one of them where Tampa plays a run fairly well, so uh, 62 Jordan Love looks really good. Matt Stafford at 6,000 also looks really good. Both those guys, I expect split ownership there. Uh, we'll see what the week brings us, though, but that those two kind of stand out the most. Joe Flacco, 5,500 against the Bears. I don't mind that. His price is high, though, so that kind of putting it off. Uh, Will Levis, 54 against Houston, no. Ritter against Carolina, no. Winston, he ends up being the quarterback. I say, yes, I, I take Winston in fantasy. Makes fantasy fun. DeVito, 5,000 against the Saints, no. Zappi against the Chiefs, no. Wilson against Miami, no. Davis Mills, 4,900 against Tennessee. That one will be a good one there. Um, Bryce Young, no. I can't imagine the Browns go anywhere off of Joe Flacco. Um, but I think that is it for quarterback. Yeah, that is it for quarterback. Uh, running back, CMC above 9K again against Arizona. Really favorable matchup. Uh, Kamara, another good matchup against the Giants. Kind of underperformed quite a bit against uh, the Panthers. Uh, Kyron Williams, 7,500 against Washington. That one stands out a lot. Obviously against Baltimore, still puts up above 15 points. Uh, doesn't get there in value, though, um, under 3x. So, But still a really good matchup. This one, Barkley against New Orleans, no a chain against the Jets, Mostert against the Jets. If you want to take that risk of picking a Miami running back, go for it. Uh, obviously, Mostert has probably been the more consistent one um, in a chain, but uh, a chain still getting points too. But that's a toss up. I, I'd be more comfortable playing those in tournaments than I would cash. It's kind of 50 50 there. Shard White up to 7,000 against Green Bay. Putting up a plus 20 just just did it. But, yeah, you've seen his price rise. Um, just been consistent. I mean, look at it. 15, 17, 27, 17, 17, 16, 19, 24. Uh, and, and another good matchup against uh, Green Bay. So, 
Wow, Rashad White, seven thousand. Never, never thought we'd see that. That's uh, that's a high one there. Derrick Henry, sixty nine against Houston. Derrick Henry, two plus touchdowns uh, in the last three games. Not really getting there with yardage. Not really getting there in the receiving game, but getting twelve points off touchdowns alone is is definitely helping him. Watch Isaiah Pacheco to see if he plays against New England. Uh, don't really like Kansas City running backs, so though, regardless. Uh, Bijan, 68 against Carolina. I like that one. Uh, Tony Pollard against Buffalo, first price point. I like that. Uh, Brees Hall against Miami. I mean, yeah. I mean, still 11.9 in the last matchup, but nine like, like nine eight nine six is his targets in his last four games. So, Brees Hall getting a lot of receiving work. Uh, James Cook, no... Brian Robinson, no. Ramondre, no. Zeke, no. Um, James Conner, no. Hubbard, no. Ford, maybe against the Bears. We'll see what the the injury is. I didn't even know he came down with an injury. Uh, Devin Singletary against the Titans. If Simmons is out, yeah. But if Simmons is in, no. AJ Dill, no. Gibson, no. Uh, I, I'd say Kareem Hunt, if for whatever reason Ford is out. Uh, I like Tajay Spears, continue to say it, but 10 plus fantasy points the last two games, still under 5k. Uh, and Bears give up a lot, uh, to the receiving game for running back, so, uh, that's a good one there. I don't think, yeah, nothing else that stands out. We'll go to receiver. Tyreek Hill, 9,900 against the Jets. Don't think anyone's really going to play Tyreek Hill coming off an injury against the Jets. Uh, 28 in their last matchup, so good there, but uh, banged up and facing the Jets. I I don't know about that one. Uh, CD against Buffalo, yeah. Diggs against Dallas, yeah, he's going to be relied upon this game, I believe. Uh, just been a disappointing year for, for Stefan Diggs. Um, I mean, you look at the beginning of the season, looks really good, and you look at the, the crucial situations, kind of when you get to the end of the season, you rely on your superstars. Three games under 10 fantasy points uh, and hasn't hit 100 yards since week six. That's kind of not what you want out of your uh, elite wide receiver. Cooper Cup against Washington uh, stands out as probably being one of the better plays right now uh, if you're paying up, though. Uh, obviously, these guys are priced that way for a reason, but Cooper Cup, 28. I, I mean, when players like this get hot, it usually keeps going. So, like that one, Debo, 77, gets the price differential for my yoke. Finally, two explosive games, his last two uh, his last two against Seattle and Philly. Um, maybe this is the Ayuk show, though, this week. It's still good, both San Francisco wide receivers. Mike Evans, 7,500 against Green Bay. That's a rougher one. Uh, Waddle against the Jets, no. Puka, yes, for a $500 paydown off Cup. I'm fine with that as well. Um, I mean, still, Puka's putting up really good numbers, too. Um, I Like I mentioned, good play there. Uh, Alave, good play at 7,100. Uh, watching Houston injuries, right? Stroud, Nico, um... Schultz, DJ Moore, 69 against Cleveland, no, Adam Thielen, 6,300 against Atlanta, no, D Hop against Houston, 62, facing his, uh, one of his former teams, yes, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm okay with that one, they haven't played, <sighs> that's interesting, so they're gonna play again then, uh, Rashid Rice, 6,100 going up in price against New England. Yeah, that one's fine. Amari Cooper, 6,000 against the Bears. That one's fine as well. Uh, Godwin, no. Wilson against Miami, sure. I don't love it, though. His price went up. McLaurin against the Rams. Yeah, that one's a good one as well. Gabe Davis, no. Drake London, his price went up almost 1,000 off last week. Uh, no. Romeo Dobbs, though, yes. Brandon Cooks. First price point, no. Uh, Marquise Brown against San Fran, if he's healthy, yes. Noah Brown, watch the injury statuses. If Nico's out for whatever reason, 5,000, yeah, that one's good as well. 
Uh, all Green Bay wide receivers is a yes for me this week. Uh, Jahan Dotson, 4,700. That's a good one for him. Uh, you know, Curtis Samuel kind of get an uptick again. We kind of saw it in the beginning of the season, then fell off, then seeing it again. Um, but I, I kind of like Jahan Dotson to have one of his games. Uh, I've only seen it a couple of times this season get above 10, but this is probably one that I like. Uh, Elijah Moore still getting targets. Obviously, if you were like me and played him over Drake London for no reason, uh, disappointing, but still putting up decent fantasy points. Just last week was disappointing when uh, Drake London was the same price. Uh, Woods kind of has value if Nico's out. Uh, Greg Dorch, 41 for if Marquise Brown is out. That one kind of stands out. Uh, keep going down. Juju against his former team at 3,600. That's something to look at. New England wide receiver still banged up. Uh, I just want to see something before we move on to the tight ends. So Douglas is 3,900, Juju 36, Parker 35. So that's interesting there. But I think that's it for wide receiver. Michael Wilson down at 33. John Mechie 32. That's one to watch out for. Um, let's see. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We'll go to tight end. Tight end, Kelsey 76. So you're getting a big discount on the Kelsey Mahomes stack. Uh, George Kittle, 5,800 against Arizona. I mean, not just going off the opponent rank, but these are some rougher ones. Taysom Hill, watch injury status against Giants. That one's not bad. Kincaid against Dallas. Don't love that one. Uh, McBride against San Fran. No, I don't play anyone against Warner. I don't. I don't like it at all. Um, watching the injury news of Schultz, though. Ferguson against Buffalo, that's a rough one as well. And Joku against Chicago, that one definitely is good. Komet, same thing. Cleveland and San Fran, I don't target tight ends against. It just never really works out. Uh, Darren Waller, supposedly running routes. Don't know if he'll ever come back, though. Uh, Kyle Pitts against Carolina. I just You can't trust him in cash. Tournament, yeah, but cash, no. Uh, Logan Thomas, obviously against the Rams. You saw what uh, Isaiah Likely was doing last week against them. So, Logan Thomas is a good one. If Higby's out, Allen had a crazy week. 15 points, uh, 4 for 50 and a touchdown. Kate Otten against Green Bay, that one's okay too. Conklin against Miami, yeah, that one's fine. Um, Tucker Craft, 3,000 against Tampa Bay. 9.5, 6.7, 10 10.4, 3K. Uh, that one's definitely good. Um, I would say Chig. I would. But, I mean, Chig has been... A lot of people liked what they saw last year in Chig. This year, just absolutely disappointing. Uh, Darren Waller's a no-go. Daniel Bellinger at 2,600 is definitely a play to look at. Um, I think that's it. Defenses, I just will skim by it. 22 against San Fran, no. Uh, New England against Kansas City, maybe at 2,300. Buffalo against Dallas. Jets against Miami. Um, Giants against New Orleans. There's definitely uh, there's definitely some value plays this week at defense. So, hope you guys did enjoy. I will have videos going out throughout the week for uh, the, the slates, the main slate, the Thursday showdown, and the Saturday slate as well. So, uh, if you guys are interested, check that one out. And I will see you guys in the next one.